Hello guys, Jboy here bringing you another GTA Online video. I'm just going to make a short video talking about the DLC that's just come out today, the new vehicles and some of the discounts that are available. Sorry I haven't brung a video out in a couple of days. It's getting quite hard to bring out a video every day just because of other stuff going on. I will try and bring you a video every day but if I can't I'm going to aim for about three to four every week. So please stay tuned and I appreciate the support so far guys. I'm still going to do the subscriber giveaway when I hit 50 subscribers so stay tuned for that one. Not too far off that now. So let's get straight into it guys. So on the screen here we've got a brand new DJ, the Black Madonna. They've been releasing a DJ every week so now there's a choice of four. I haven't actually changed one yet to be honest because I'm not that bothered about what music's on in the club if I'm completely honest with you. Um, let's go out of that. So if we bring up the internet let's go straight into the most important Warstock. So there is this brand new terabyte. This is a mobile operation center of sorts. There's quite a few cool color schemes you can do to this. You can customize the interior. It's got a turret station, which looks quite cool. I'm actually going to purchase this tomorrow and I will do a review on it, hopefully tomorrow. If not, it will be out on Thursday. So I'm gonna purchase this and do all the upgrades and then do a review for you guys so we can check that one out. And you've got the drone station, so you can actually have a drone that flies around and I'm guessing it's going to have weapons, so that could be quite irritating for other players, but I'm willing to give that a go. I believe it, yeah, so it's quite expensive to add that, but the actual vehicle itself is not all that expensive for the upfront cost, so surprisingly so. Anyway, that's not too much extra money, so I'll give that a go. And then you've got the Weapon Workshop, which I've got one of those in the Avenger, I probably won't bother with that. And then Specialized Workshop. So this is quite interesting, guys. The new Oppressor, the Mark II Oppressor, this is the only vehicle that you can actually customize that in. So that's kind of not very good, to be honest. It's not great to know that if you want to purchase that vehicle, you're going to have to purchase one of these as well. And that's going to set you back about 2 million, plus the cost of the Oppressor. So... That's, I've never really expected them to make a vehicle just for one vehicle customization, but there you go, that's what's happened. So that's all we know about that one so far until I give that a review. And then you've obviously got the Oppressor Mark II, which is nearly 4 million, or the trade price, which you unlock the client jobs when purchasing the new terabyte and you have to complete five of those in order to, and own a terabyte in order to get the trade price but to be honest i don't see why you would ever buy it now if you don't have a terabyte because you can't customize it so kind of goes hand in hand um and then guys there's nothing on legendary nothing new there is a discount on the neon and I believe that was the only other discount. I did go through this earlier. And then on Maze Bank, if we go into there, there's no nightclub discounts, unfortunately. But you've got discounts on everything except for the facilities. So I did check. Let's just double check that for you. So hangers, yep. They're discounted. Bunkers, discounted. And clubhouses. Yeah, they're also discounted. So clubhouses, bunkers and hangers are discounted at the moment. I think it's a 25% discount. Then if we go into Warstock again, there's a couple of vehicles with quite hefty uh, discounts as well. Yeah, so you've got the APC and the Dune. They're both discounted. And sorry, I did actually forget. On Legendary, you've got another vehicle down here yes the anis that's also quite heavily discounted as well that's about that's quite big actually yeah 700,000 off that one roughly so that is basically everything so far i will be bringing you a review of the terabyte i'm going to purchase that and give that a go um not sure whether i'm going to purchase the oppressor yet but it sounds quite cool because it unlocks you some missions and it will be quite fun trying out those missiles and the drone as well that's all from me for today guys. I will be bringing out a video reviewing the terabyte so stay tuned for that and thank you again for all the support and I will see you again in the next video.